Hello everyone, and it's time to go back to that subject that we all know and love, and that is bullying. Now, again, the SJWs are continually trying to bring this topic up in regards to anti-SJW activity on YouTube. And as per usual, it's labelled at bearing because recently, and to give them credit, this is why they're doing it, because he made a video about how they talk about him bullying people. Yet, when you look at it, these people are coming up with this insane amount of bigotry statements or stupid statements or spreading bullshit and misrepresentations you know all about that and this is why he calls them out he's calling them out he's making the response to them he is refuting their claims and this is not bullying and that he is of course not responsible for his fans but of course they take it too far as per usual and suddenly start making videos although at first they mirrored this girl's video that he responded to as an example of this stupid bullshit that they like to peddle and say it was mirroring in support but when you think about about it when they're mirroring her video you know they're most likely going to be monetized and really they're not really supporting her much people are not going to go and watch the original video they're going to watch the mirror and move on unless they do go and drop a like in the link i don't know and then kevin logan made a video about how this proves that bearing is evil and horrible and he's a prick you know using all these swear words and insults that's totally not bullying behavior self-awareness has never been kevin logan's strong point you know it's not like he calls shoe on the head a cum bucket and mocked thunderfoot dad dying of cancer and Mark Thunderfoot's suffering within that episode of his life. Yeah, that's totally not bullying. That's different because it's okay when they do it. Speaking of when they do it, let's take a look at that, shall we? SUWs, when they talk about anti-SUW bullying, this is mostly projection. Let's get this clear, okay? This has nothing to do with us per se. It has everything to do with them because all their arguments have been refuted and any new one that they try to come up with will be instantly refuted within a couple of videos so all they've got left now is to smear us that's all they've got and that's what happens when a movement starts to die or they're running out of ideas and i'm going to show you some examples of SJW bullying things that they don't actually call out unless you use it in an argument and then they'll say because they have to call it out and if they don't they look even worse than they already do so really they don't really care about this but they kind of have to put on a face when you're debating some of these will stretch back quite a few years we're talking about two or three maybe we'll show you just how bad these people are. See, they can be just as bad as us and even worse, especially when it comes to their big names. Let's do this, Pete. And the first one on my list is the most recent case of them being the same as us. Now, I'm not saying this is bullying and I'm not trying to play the victim here yet. I know this happened to me yesterday. I released a video responding to one of the cringiest feminist videos I've ever seen. Basically, this was an open letter to old men in department stores. This girl who works in retail, apparently, is apparently getting flirted at by old men, hit on by old men. Basically, you can argue, judging from what she's saying, just socialising with her and basically talking to her can be construed as hitting on her. I don't know how that is, people, but this is how they think, okay? And I made the response to it. I didn't link the video, I just responded to it. In fact, I didn't even respond to the actual video itself. I responded to a mirror of it on feminism is for everybody some mirror channel and network or they call themselves a networking channel that's what i responded to i didn't respond to her actual video on her actual channel somehow the algorithm put my video above there so i assume that loads of feminists were looking for that video because it must have been on its way to going viral or doing really well and they found my video and they disliked it en masse in fact at one point it ended up with this amount of dislikes although now eventually it has ended up that likes to outnumber the dislikes but as you can see i went through a rough time but I laughed I got a few comments it seems to me that the two sides differ when it comes to expressing their dislike of videos whereas this probably skewed but I've seen enough of it to think there is probably a difference here anti SUWs will actually leave comments and talk to the people uh, sometimes it'll be constructive some of it will just be plain personal hatred which you know is not really acceptable because it doesn't lead to anywhere but they will also dislike the video SUWs seem to largely just dislike the video and move on some will comment but others will won't, probably because they're scared about getting roundly kicked in the ass. Intellectually speaking, of course, figuratively speaking, people, I'm not saying we're going to harm these people, but there are exceptions. And I know I'm using me, but come on, people, this is my work. So I got nasty comments in my Marina Shut Up response from a couple months ago. And my most infamous uh, round of hate, which it still gets occasionally, is my video responding to Akala's video from the Guardian YouTube channel, where he talks about racism and all that stuff and gets it all wrong. And I just correct 
him because he's talking about history and he hasn't got a bloody clue on history. I got a lot of racial comments, I got a lot of smearing comments calling me a racist and also and one person even said you're white no matter what you say even though I clearly am not. Now enough about me and those are only a few examples of the hate I've got and it's not always from SCW. Okay so enough about me and there are only a few examples from my videos but I'm just showing that they do the same behaviour that they claim that we do. So their whole stance is hypocritical. Let's continue and pile on the misery for these people. Now a few years ago there was an infamous infamous situation that happened in regards to two men and a woman at a tech conference or some kind of tech festival and these two men were sitting behind the woman talking to themselves quietly and making jokes and, and yes you all know what I'm referring to and that is Donglegate. These guys were making dongle jokes. Adria Richards, the woman, she noticed this, took a picture of these men and then posted it to her Twitter saying these men were being sexist and misogynist and these men got hate thrown their way because eventually her feminist friends spread it to their feminist friends and to their feminist friends and then eventually more people found them, they found their Twitter pages, their Facebook pages and they harassed them to no end and also even called their employers and one of them even got fired. Bear in mind this man had a family to look after. He eventually did get another job but he said he'd become a lot more paranoid of women since then. How is this not bullying? And then next thing you know 4chan intervenes on behalf of the men although the men did not ask for any help. Help. They then proceeded to troll Adria Richards in response. It's actually mentioned in a book called So You've Been Publicly Shamed by Ron Johnson and he talks to a female a 4chan member and she actually remembers it very well and says that well the way to get at a woman is to go for her feelings, the way to get at a man is to go for his job and they decided to troll her back to show her how it feels but of course she's a feminist and an SJW so she doesn't really get the empathy she, she doesn't really understand what it feels like she just then makes it all about her in that book that's another example of social justice bullying and very recently in fact one of my dear friends a blonde in the belly of the beast was doxxed recently and also a family was doxxed by a journalist who comes from St. Louis in Louisiana because she made comments about the situation that was going on in there. He obviously disagreed and decided in a Twitter conversation with her publicly to dox her because he disagreed with her ideologically and disagreed with her points. You guys can claim that we're bullies yet this is happening you're not doing a damn thing about it. Now I don't need to defend Blondie because Blondie can defend herself. She clearly was not phased nor scared about the situation. This is how low you will go. You will dox someone for disagreeing with them. So the next three are slightly more controversial two of which haven't necessarily been proved so it's all up in the air but they did apologize for these actions that apparently happened so give or take we can say that yes they probably did do it and this is the recent allegations from the anti-GG side or anti-gamer game. I am of course talking about Sunil Patel, Devin Farassi and Matt Hickey. Now Sunil Patel and Devin Farassi there's a little bit of a grey area in that because they were alleged to have done several things. Devin Farassi was accused of sexual assault by a woman at a nightclub 10 years ago and apparently they were also other allegations and Sunil Patel was apparently accused of abusing his position to objectify gaslight women who either worked for him or were fans of his or were friends of his. I don't know the full details but links will be down below in the description. And Matt Hickey has been charged and arrested for alleged rape. These people have been accused of bullying or using bullying like behaviour to do these horrible things to women and have also been covered up by their friends and their ideological allies. How this is not bullying? How this is not helping stop these things that are happening to women all over the world, I don't know. You're supposed to be anti-rape, anti-bullying, yet you let these men, some of it alleged, some of it about to go to court on trial, which could well have happened, get away with these alleged crimes and you're doing nothing. Only now, when it's too late, are you speaking up because it's been outed. There's nothing you can do. That, my friends, is hypocrisy. Now, the next two are the most egregious examples, in my opinion, and the first one happened in the Steven Universe fandom. There was this artist on Tumblr and on Twitter called Zami and she was well loved amongst the Steven Universe fandom on Tumblr and Twitter for her artwork. She got a lot of love. People really liked her art style. Now she did one particular picture where she drew one particular character too thin because even though this character is not actually fat she's just curvaceous. She's voluptuous. That's what she
she is, they think fat is voluptuous. And in their opinion, she drew it too thin. And this is bad. Because remember, this is fat shaming. This is not good. This is terrible. And they abused the ever-loving shit out of her. They harassed her. They sent her nasty messages, comments. And this girl suffered from mental illness anyway. She had uh, depression or maybe bipolar. I can't remember, but she did have something wrong with her. Maybe anxiety. And this caused her to go over the edge and attempt suicide. Now, thankfully, people from outside that community and maybe some of the more sane ones in that community uh, picked up this story and might try to you know help her and say, continue to do art because she almost didn't want to do art ever again and this reached some of the more alternative news websites it even reached the bright bar even thankfully she's now on the road to recovery but the fact of the matter is these are social justice warriors attacking this girl because she apparently made a character too thin that's bullying people and i don't remember a single social justice warrior calling this out as with all the other examples radio silence and then the next one is the most recent example and that is clementine ford and her friend abusing an autistic man because he happened to be trying to get high fives from a group of women even though he was also trying to get high fives from loads of people so basically what happened was clementine ford's friend was on the tram and she was minding her own business or was she and she noticed there was a man who was a little bit different to everyone else he seemed to be acting erratic a little bit unusual trying to get high fives and hugs from people and dangling down from the bars seemingly acting like a child and then he went to a group of women and said can you have a high five from these women and in this woman's mind Mind. Bear in mind, I can't remember her name, Clementine Ford's friend, so if you know her name, drop me her name in the comments because I'm going to do a proper video on this eventually. He then went to these group of women, as you know, tried to get high fives, then sat down in front of her and she took a picture of him and posted it on her Facebook. Bear in mind, this woman has quite a following of feminists and social justice warriors and she claimed that this man was creepy, he was going around being horrible and this is rape culture and stuff like that and basically this incited her audience, she actually incited them and then Clementine Ford picked on it and incited her audience to harass this person to abuse this person and it got to his family to the point where eventually they had to come out publicly and say this man has autism and he's on the spectrum to the point where he really can't function well he's basically got the mind of a child they were causing him extreme stress because of the abuse that was heading their way where were the SJWs calling this out again when I mentioned this in an argument only one said it was wrong but bear in mind this person didn't publicly say on their YouTube channel or anywhere in social media that this was wrong. No, radio silence. Clementine Ford and this other person seems to be getting away with it. So, social justice warriors, feminists, progressives, I have one more thing for you just before we go. Other than three people, the ContraPoints, the Motivator Opinion, who, by the way, isn't really an SUW, he calls himself a progressive, he doesn't consider himself a feminist, gotta put that out there for him. And of course, Dick Coughlin of all people. Where were you during the several rounds of bullying, doxing, and all sorts of stuff that was going on when Devin Tracy was at his height attacking people on apparently his quote unquote own side because he had disagreements with us. Where were you? Apart from these three people calling him out for bullying, actually bullying people, actually using his fans to go out and harass people, to dox these people, literally admitting it in public, but then also denying it when it was not suitable for him to do so. Where were you? This was an ample target for you guys to use. But then again, it couldn't possibly be because he was attacking his quote unquote own side that it was convenient for you guys not to do anything and let us fight amongst ourselves as we try to get this guy to stop using his power. Yeah, it's a little bit convenient for you guys, isn't it? To not say anything and to let it continue. Instead, you use people like Sargon, Bering, Undine as examples of bullies. Yet here is one man that only three of you actually called out who was an actual bully and you didn't call him out. Get your priorities straight. I can actually name one person who I know is a bully. You can't. And that just proves exactly what you guys are in this for. You are not in this because you're anti-bullying. You don't care about the women who are getting responses to them. You don't care about the men who are being responded to. You don't care about your own fans doing this. You don't care about your own big names doing it. It's all about the ideology. It's about shutting down criticism. You are hypocrites. And until you start actually calling out your own side or calling out actual bullies, I'm going to continue making videos about this, highlighting your hypocrisy and highlighting what you have been doing wrong. So people, that's the anti-bullying video that I've made against their bullying and from bullies on our quote-unquote our side, our so-called community. I hope you enjoyed it. So until next time, I'll see you later.